Uganda ya encha. Let me take you to the recent happenings. What's happening in Uganda? Apparently, uh, 2022, it's been a year of uh, abductions, abductions and more abductions, human rights violations, all sorts of atrocities inflicted on Ugandans. Mm -hmm. I want to pick your views of recent. Uh, that was uh, this week, actually. We, social media has been a wash of uh, a video circulating of a man, a one uh, uh, NUP follower or subscriber who protested in the court martial that uh, he has been incarcerated for two years without trial. I don't know what do these mean to you and what do they mean to our democracy in case we have one. It is very sad and it demonstrates how we have degenerated in terms of human rights respect. First and foremost, if you are a civilian, what business do you have in a military court? If you are not a military, I think you, are, you, you, you shouldn't be in a military court. They will have civil courts, and that is where everybody who is non-military belongs. So, uh, so that was one. Two, uh, I saw it and the person was actually protesting peacefully. Mm. So if you cannot tr uh, protest peacefully, then wh what, wh uh, how, how are you going to, to be able to get justice? And it was in a court, whether a tribunal, but it is, they call it a court. A court is a temple of justice. You are supposed to be getting justice, not being uh, rounded up and being victimized even further. I didn't see anything that warranted him to be ruffled as he was. He was supposed to be listened to and maybe his, uh, you know, his, uh, uh, what he was protesting or what he was saying should have been taken into consideration. Because why should, if, if we, he committed uh, crimes, then he, sh he should be prosecuted, not just kept in, in jail. That is a violation of human rights itself. Jetwafuna, era abantu bonna ne baberanga ba 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 determined okwagalo kulabanti ah ebye byaliwo in the past bikoma nti tutandike a new beginning era ne tubera promised uh, uh, a new uh, a fundamental change fundamental change in the engeri jena jitegeramu it was supposed to be a positive fundamental change era ne tukola constitution Netu samu safeguards. Uh, Kwe gaba ntubanji, nebabela excited. And uh, this time around, tugenda okugonjola the foundational things. Uh, unfortunately, evi ntu tebita ambude bulunji. The safeguards, as you know, they were abolished violently, some of them. Or if not violently, like the, the term limits, through bribery, through, you know, corruption, corruption, the, the society in Uganda. Culture, ya, ya politics in Uganda, ya mfunirawa, ya violence, kwe gamba, sibiangu, sibiangu na katono. No, Rachel, but Wanga Tuliba Kugonjola, Egwanga, you know, we have to go back to the basics. E to to take a Kubanti, Kubanga, to so Okufun and Chuka Chuka, Eda Fetumaninti and Chuka Chuka Jacuba. But if you know, I've gone about Gomoko, why Uganda and Chamber is a new neighbor as a Janajam to Sakanga, or your Najam Sensor of Vedangam to Lava and Zamus Krogam Gamosas from Allah. Orwale rong nenda kuwela ni ambasada Edith uh, Sempala. Yes, ono no yaliko ambasada, of course, 
mu mawanga agatali gamu era mu myaka ejitali jimu ateranga yaweza konga director ateranga senior advisor mu World Bank mwaka gwa 2008 gera ya of course yaweza ko nga omuchise uh, oba eh, ambassador wa Uganda mu Nordic countries United States African Union Ethiopia ne Djibouti ya ambassador Edith Sempala gwengendo kugera kona ye kunsongezige na mas of course mu gwanga ambulire um, ye bichi byalo woza bichi byala ba of course right now aline jeno mugisha Gregory Muntu Oyera mu alliance for national transformation ya yabuli that the president of Dr. Seveni era nowadays of course she speaks loudly and clear that even to tell you burungi mu gwanga Uganda ya denga yaweleza ko nga president of seven ya mu appointing ngao kubera ambassador in those countries te chimugana kubera nge bintu atabiraba e bulala nyo no kugama anti no 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 enough is enough we need change era akiriza anti the right national resistance movement ya vadda kumulamwa ya ambassador Edith Sempala ayagala okumanya of course ebimu kwe bimu kwata ko ebitontono gwa tugoberera obutale of kumkuto gwa Uganda yencha Nordic countries zezo NC of course ezili eh ze twinzo gamanti ezili mu region eri northern europe sako ne north atlantic eranga elimu amawanga nga katugeze Denmark Finland Iceland Norway wamne Sweden kakati onono yaliko ambassador wa mawanga ago njogera ku Edith Sempala gwenge ndokuberanga i have a chat i discuss with her ebintu ebigena mu maso mu gwanga lya fe Uganda kakati no ono ngawe nkutegezeza inti uh, mwaka gwa 10 of course yasomera no mu Soviet Union emisomo jiji ya Germany leyo oba kakati etwandi se Russia era na maliza kumpi miyake juwe la dale yongalinga refugee mu from 1979 to 1986 era yali mu Sweden ya mulukumura enda china na mukaga ulifanyoro kuchusa government wano mu gwanga Uganda ya gena maso na appointing waba na alonde wanga ambassador to the Nordic countries ngabo ya kutegeze za best in Copenhagen Denmark Eranga ebangeli oba emyaka ejo yagena maso na weleza egwanga liye kumalira dale miyaka 10 lokumenda chenda mukaga yagena maso atera na afuka ambasada wa Uganda mu United States ngera sinzira dale abutere mu Washington DC or the district of Columbia in Washington mm-hmm. then era yagena maso mu miyaka 10 ejo era yaweleza nga ambassador wa United States oba nga ambassador wa Uganda to the United States based in Washington for over 10 years very good mwaka gwa 2 mukaga gena masera na alonde bwanga ambassador wa African Union oh my god ebifono byaina she's a diplomat era yali uh, sinzira mu Addis Ababa Ethiopia era gena maso oluvanyuma naweleza ko nga ambassador wa Ethiopia wamne Djibouti ambassador wa Uganda mu mawanga ago era yaweleza mu bifebyo okuvira dalama ko gabili mukaga kutukira dalama bili munana bili munana yagera maso nega taku World Bank oba bank ANC yona nga director atera nga senior advisor atera nga yomuku akulira oba advisor ku international affairs mucha Edith Sempala oba Grace Edith Sempala yes wetugeno kuberanga tutula na ye twave chat ya Edith Grace Sempala uh, ngawe kutegeza mwaka 2008 yegata ku bank ANC yonanga director at senior advisor international affairs office of the world bank's vice president for external affairs mwaka gwa 2015 yagena maso na appointing banga secretary general <laughs> Oh my god. No, mwaka gwa 2015, she was named by the Secretary General of the United Nations to serve on the advisory group of experts on review of peace building architecture. Inti mwaka gwa 2015 yagena maso na ronde bwa Secretary General wa Sabo wandisi wechimina cha mwanga magate okuweleza nga ku advisory group of experts on review of peace building architecture. Kwa gaironde bwa ku 
HY oba ekitundu eba ekitundu kya bantu abakugu banachinku abaino okugena maso kuberanga mm, bala babutya bano kuba touch mu kuzimba emirembe mu nsi yonna ye Edith Grace Sempala gwetugeno kuliriza let's take listen mu views ebigena maso mu gwanga Uganda succession transition no kulaba ekizibu kya gwanga Uganda where is the problem ati atatola bide na kuogera ku system ya subira enzo bachiche cha subira enzo kubera nga chitereze gwanga Uganda ba mno baloza federal system checho kudam how does she think what her or what are her views Uganda enta za muskuwaga mga mwezi wa mara akume Uganda ya encha Monsi, mlio mwari nechiroto, kubakuwa guza, kulafu wana, no kulemerako, okutuka kubu wanguzi, dala wa magwe, lubalu na kumuli indwa, ocha sobe dweka ni mchibira, nga webu uzo mtu mtuofu, ana kutusa kumakura gebi roto vyo, oboko ye kuferebwa, kanku anjulile, haba Brand Pro, Property Services Limited, hawe guli derinya, mkutu kilize viroto vya abantu, ebie kusa kutaka, bagula, wamuno kutundi utaka na mayumba, kulirugudu rua Uganda, wamuno kweto rule nsi na mumawanga agatari gamu nga USA, India, wamune wungereza, tulina estates ziwe doku zimbibwa, gano makula wukula, wegulire nyumbe yechiloto cho, uruwa lero, kube yeso buka, na wano nyezo kupangisa tuzirina, nga atetusu wano kukula wakula nyetaka, ama yumba oba estates zo, neze gombe sabuli mtu, oya gala saveya oboli nechizibu chona nga cheku usakotaka, bitu kwase gosirike, tusangiba kwe mti house, kumariro gusoka Room 5 Ewa Zana Kwentebe Road Okuli ya nechizimbe cha Mugruma Empire Osolo kutukubida Okutu welezo ubaka Kwa WhatsApp number za fe Note msavu msavu satu Bili ya mukaga Tanu munana noti Oba note msavu noti satu Munana bili nya Note msavu muenda Neku website www.brandpro.co.ug Ate mweba nkuba cheyo Ibiya mwebi atele de Ante usolo kugula poloti Obo kufune nyumba No koma ho Ngabulichimuchi maridadi sana Sema tukaba fero uruwa lero Ngoko la ganane Brand Pro Property Services Limited Tutu ukiliza biroto Yes, ambasada tukwa niliza nyo Kumukutu ogwa Uganda Yencha nja kusoka Aaaa to give you time to have your opening remarks, it is a new year. Yakusa was so compare opening remarks to all our viewers, then we go ahead. First of all, Moses and Sainzo Kudamo Kulava. Okay. It's been quite a while. Yes. Era Namsa Abona Abatulava. And Timukuriko Maka Teguba de Mangu. Yeah. And Naye to Sogodo Katonda to Isizam. Uh, no, Rachel, to my baza. Uh, uh, in CFA, Uganda, Eri Muchisera Chizibunyo, uh, even to be a young girl or Kubija Nayan Jagalavana Uganda, but demo Suvi, but demo Amani, and T. Tujakununua. Okay. Uh, te, Fetu ja okwe nunula. Mm. Nga katonda imuwezi wafi. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Uh, Tutanike kusonga ya binge ebigenda maso mugwanga Uganda. Mm. But I think we can mm, start from here. Echizibu cha Uganda wechidi. We've had a lot of problems uh, before even independence. Ebizu wiba de binge. Nesu mani for the years you've lived. Binge Biolabi, where is our problem? Where is Uganda's problem? It's which are fechiwa, where did we go wrong and to turn the clown doors, where did we go wrong? And the mm those anti it is which are Uganda chatter and kira dala uh uh from the time we got independence. Obviously, um colonialism was not training for democracy. Uh, na ina fe bwetu wafuna independence. Abanji tuwa itu suvira. Nti awa uh, kule mbeze. Obo mkule mbeze. Eya soke la dala. Nti ayari uh, uh, agenda tuwa opportunity. Oku building a foundation. Ya democratic governance. 
um, nga to building a institutions, nga to building a systems, nga to building a culture of uh, democracy, of tolerance. Uh, na ye echo techave rao mokulaba kwange. Uh, very quickly, uh, o mkule mbeze gotu wafu na mito no bote, ye ya tandika okwe no nyeza evivye. Nengeri ye okwe, okwe besa o mbu yinza. So, tetu wafu necho. Mutunu emu ayagun e, e, in singa Amerika. Ala ntuwa gamba, wacho okompe ya ringa na Amerika. Na ina Amerika ya ringa beginning ya yo. Uh, beginning ya Amerika, ba building institutions. Ba leaders, ba li, they put the country before, before self. So, ni ba building institutions, ni ba building systems, uh, ni ba building culture, e ya e, ngeri e, obuyinza jebuchu ukamu. Echo fete tuwa chifuna. So that really started us off very badly. Netuba angachi, kuchusa obuyinza obwaso kabwali violent, ngabo jukila, ngabo, oso wakua angatwe jukila kuwa tewaliwa. Yeah, na embi somo, of course. Na yenga yeah. wachulida. Mm. And uh, since then, uh, nchuka chuka zone zibadewo, atela zibadewo, zibade violent. Kati, um, enare mbu ya jamubu yinza, ojukilanti priambo ya constitution ya fe, ya acknowledging a e your bad beginning, jetuafuna, era abantu gona ni babiranga, ba, 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 ba determined, okwa gala okula abanti, uh, e bebyari wo in the past, vikoma, nti tutandike a new beginning. Edane tuwela promised uh, uh, a new, uh, a fundamental change. Fundamental change in the engage it was supposed to be a positive fundamental change. Edane tukola constitution, netusamu safeguards. Uh, kwe gaba ntubanji, nevera excited. And uh, this time around, Tugenda okugonjola the foundational things. Uh, unfortunately, even to tebita ambude burundi, the safeguards, as you know, they were abolished violently, some of them. Or if not violently, like the, the term limits, through bribery, through, you know, corruption, corruption, ikate etuse, okuli radala the... The society ya Uganda. Culture ya, demo, ya, ya politics mu Uganda. Ya mfunirawa. Ya violence. Kwe gamba. Sibi angu. Sibi angu na katono. Nono cho kwe tuwanga tuliba kugonjola e lino. We have to go back to the basics. E, tu, tute kwa okubanti. Kubanga tusobe okufune nchuka chuka. Era fetuma nyinti. Enchuka chuke jakuba wafenga alliance for national transformation. Te turi na doubt at all unti enti change e, 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 jakuba e, jakube rao. E, te kukube rao kubanga. Uh, the only thing that doesn't change is change. So change will take place. Na ye change ye yo enere tachi. Ene tukore la foundation. Ene vera peaceful. Enebele tia. Kati science zetulaba sinunji. Science zetulaba sinunji. Um, olaba nti e, vya mateka. Olaba nti wali uo nga uh, military jenu. Uh, ali a politiki nga mbu na ya ya gala kubela president. Of course, buli Uganda ni yena aina royalty oku 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 desiringa no ku aspiringa for the presidency. Nebo be rango limunsution nge ya maje. Oli na kuva mu first. E bobato vudemu then oteko gobiri la mateka ga maje na ge gwanga. Na yo la banga the it is being violated with impunity. So eyo sign is sinunji na katon.
Olabira dala agundi okwa galo kwa gracinga even neighboring countries eyo on the diplomatic and international relations front nacho saini binyo Olabira dala anti a e, by elections is on ezwa deo ezwa de extremely violent ne elections enda ezwa de violent na yate by elections zo ziyitirid eyo saini na yo sinunji Kwe gamba, norecho webu zanti egwanga lila gawa. Aa, na ye, tubilabye, ne monse ndala, nga viva deo, nene wabawe nchuka chuka. So, we must remain hopeful, tuteko kube, oku, remain inga hopeful, tuteko oku remain inga, nga, nga tukola, Aa, nzendo zanti, majority of Ugandans, they are peaceful, they desire change, they desire to do the right thing. Nayawa singa, tebaga la kubela in politics. Balo zanti obedi, nitu bineko la sima, nyinga tebiso la kwekola. Oko gira ku HNC ukachuka, all change. Uh, mm -hmm. Wanabia fuziba njibe tuli debo gira ku change, Uganda njibe taga changes, it's true. I'm a Ugandan, I'm a, I'm a journalist who is on ground. Uh, I take the perspectives and uh, opinions mm -hmm. zavant. Mm. But what kind of change do Ugandans need? But now Uganda be tagging chuka chuka, ya chikula chile. Era Alliance for National Transformation yeri willing era yete stese to kureta alternatives. As again adala chitu for kureta that change because it's been a lot of years people promising change, change. But what sort of change? Yeah, Fenga Alliance for National Transformation. Tool, 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 tool was change. Esobola okuyambe guanga. Ye change is grounded in values. Values of integrity, values of justice, values of respect for human rights, values of democracy. Ye yo, akati, abantu bebuza, doze chisinze oku, 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 abantu okwebuza. Nti, uh, eyo, yo, go, values grounded change tujifuna tutia era bantu chi abasobolo jileta kwe gamba in life in life o nebo bango o, o, o choosing a friends in most cases you do due diligence especially bo bango limu business eh tosobola kukola company no muntu go toko zeko uh, due diligence na ye uh, mo politics Abantu ba mala ga, ga, ga supporting ga, kwe gamba ba supporting ga, kwe gamba wali wano okubanti, tuwagala change mbwe chija chije. E chija chije chiso okubanga, chizibu nyo 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 nga, you are jumping from the flying pan ogena mufaya. So, uh, ate ngabo chimanyi, nti uh, civic education, uh, deliberately, eh, eh, teri uo. Uh, government itayagala civic education, electro agundi uh, 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 education na yote liyo. So abantu baje kwe gamba, bali kuruwawe. Na enze chensa baba na Uganda, tuleme okubisa amu feelings za amanyi. Kubanga vieta aga okulo oza kwenye, given inti jetuva, te wabade walunji, ate the only way we can guarantee a better future to take or could deliberately or could know your better future. No, could know your avantu. Avaina track record. Eh? The way you have a mogulu fena to tuba de wano for a long time. Era wo way a gala okumanya ebi kwata kumuntu yena osobolo bi manya. Oliwa wanga yali mubi. Eh? Asigala mubi. Katibwa o mubi. O wen koko. Bomu full a minister of finance, omu expecting a college. Eh? Kumbi la dala ya gund, treasure leyo na. So, singa tu kolecho, netuba deliberate, netuba thoughtful, nzendoza abana Uganda, abanji, nyo, abarinezo values ze tuogerako. Botu nudila institutions over gund, the private sector. Olabi la dalanga wana Uganda, many of the, there are many companies, even international, 
companies. Ezirina Ugandans at the helm. Ninga they are making profits. Ninga they are they are managing well, which means nti nemu politics is the values is the is the uh, Kusonga ya value is very good. It is a good debate. Kubaba anjiba nabia ufuzbetola who have literally lost values. Simanyi, when did we lose values or when did our politicians lose values and how did it, did it happen? Because you've served in different capacities. Nobody then your ambassador for many years. You fought events, Mugwanga, Uganda. Mm. Values in terms of politics, when did we lose them? Our politicians, when did, we go, when did they go wrong? In terms of values, values first and foremost, the the depending on who who go go into. Era values is over and as so go into. Bobo genze mu politics is over and as so. Bobo genze mu business is over and as so. Bo jo genda yo no genda as so. That is why I was saying, until abantu beta aga okola due diligence, due diligence. But so we kulonda, aba kule mbeze, abalina already values. Boba to zirina, to zirina. And it would take God himself to transform you. That Me? is so tricky, Ambassador. Because nowadays, when, uh, during, in campa during campaigns, over, yes. Banabia Ufus, they are like chameleons. Yeah? They, today, they are going to give you this hide. Tomorrow, they are going to give you this skin. Tomorrow, they are going to show you different styles. I don't know, helping our people, Kuwabantu Wafe, the Wanainchi, it will be very difficult to understand Omutona in our values, Omutona, Omutono Talina. How do we differentiate them? Auntie Chemfu Dengamba Moses, Nti Tewali Wo Muntu Yena Ava Muguru, Bona Wevali Wan, Baba Dewo. Yes. Is in Pisa Zebaba Dena Zo. There is a piece of the bargain of Kugenda and Azomu politics. So the question is go but over over money, over round or deco, and send a zero on dollar. They do due diligence. Nothing but to call a due diligence to mania. Oh no, Bavanga Mulimba, eh? Gayalimba Mokatono, Asova no Kulimba Muchinene. Bavanga Vade Mubi. Gari corrupt. Kwega kalucha ya fe. Etu so kubanti kwe gamba. Omuntu omubi. Ya tambulang with, the, with their heads up. Gwe, o, gwe alina integrity. Mbukubanga te wama sinze. E, e gundi. Bi, e, e, tolina chichi. Bi, bi, bi moto ke vinene. Tolina bangalos. Tolina gundi. Kubango badene integrity. O receive a servant. Ezo, ezo bangalo ezo zijawa, okuja hongo bie. So, kwe gamba, ebi, ebi ntubio na nzendo za ntawa ntubabi tegeda. Na hete babi tadeko mutima. Obate babi ruriyeti nze ku politics bo gwebetaga era agendo baga nyuramu. Who is to blame for the moral decadence and uh, the loss of values in politics more so because leadership wabela anga tedi based on uh, a foundation of values, morals, at the end of the day, it will be very hard. Who is to blame? Nzendoza, we are all to blame. It all starts from home, the family. So the family has a role to play. The schools have roles to play. The community has a role to play. When I was still a young girl or a, a child, it, you belong to the whole village. Yes. Omuntu ye no mukulu, yari a sobol kanga vula. I think kanga vula with love. Eh? Nekati a community ezo to gain the to to be a bida. No, Rachel, I think it must be deliberate on all, on, on behalf of all of us. Nti, Tewali uo uh, sovola okuza uo echigambo mpisa. Ye, omu bwati. Family of our parents have to do their, their part. And uh, by the way, family ye foundation ye society. Then schools. Schools na zo. Kwega biyo ulire na kuzino. Awasome za bibakola. 
eh, impregnating young girls. If you mutime a fetibiari, Ungera to so a chulid. Got to so a coolid anti, but permanent secretary, ya be. It was not acceptable. So we must refuse to accept that moral decadence. And the people who have the values must realize that they have to come out. Kubanga abu, abataina morals. Sibe tebaso wa kuspearheading, or kuspearheading morals in our society. Boyo gira kuchi ntwecho, I think tunzo wuta kwa taganarunji because simanyu kwechiva, na ye I've met and interviewed many people mm. about inner values. Mm. When they come out, stand firm to take up any position, mm. they are not selected, yes, or they are not chosen. Still in government, I will take you to some of the ministerial positions. There are those the president will love, or Baba Yandi appointings. They are consistently appointing the people who have allegedly involved themselves in corrupt scandals. I'll give you a scenario of uh, Dixon Kateshumba. It is the president himself who actually directed that he su he's suspended from the URA. But just a few months, he went into the national resistance movement. He's now a member of parliament uh, representing uh, a whole constituency. And <laughs> he goes ahead to be appointed mm. uh, into a, a position. Mm -hmm. Don't you think castigating or blaming parents and the schools, I think these ones have done their job. Naye, those are leadership itself to Tegere, I think they do it intentionally because it's very rare. President of appointing Omuntu Aina, Omuntu Batono Nyo. Yes, there are few of those, the names I can't mention. Boganti is our values. Now, most of them in cabinet, when the list came out, the public wasn't shocked. There are those who were appointed, I was like, yeah, we expected them. Into the finance, yeah, we expected them because that's the uh, order of the day. Don't you think even we need mm. to direct the debate to the so called fountain of honor? <laughs> yes, Aunt Kakati, Omuntu, say when the president wants to. Uh, uh, entrench himself in power. Tom expecting Okujira Oku appointing Abu Abatakiris Ganyana. Yes, that is where it starts from. So, Echo, that is an obvious thing. Era Jakung Anyabo, a very name Pisa, is supporting a Yacha Yagal. Eranga Bebo Benina Batina Pisa. So, so nzendo was anti fetwa andi chitute abanta baina integrity tebaso wala ku expectinga nti abata abata ina integrity bagenda kuba wa we eh they are not going to give us we kubanga um we are against what they what has made them or what they believe in and so it is a struggle Next change I got to go to Uganda. I'm Uganda. I'm in integrity. Today, Banji. Now I'm seeing that I'm going to struggle. Balo was anti chi. We into we just go 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 Bagant, they are representing the struggle. Mm. But at the end of the day, we see they see them driving Porsche cars, they see them getting salaries, they see them uh, oh, okay, changing their lives on top of, this, uh, of the people. Don't you think people have lost hope because a struggle or fighting for change is now taken to be a business? Auntie uh, Moses, struggle is not about just talking about it. Uh, it is about doing the right thing, you know. So, Tetusobola uh, could losing a hope because it, uh, it is about our future. It is about our today, our tomorrow, and the future generations. So, we cannot afford oku giving up or oku losing a hope. Atechilala, nti tulabye ensendala, ezibaddewo 
ebintu nebichuka tulabye empires ezi crumbling ngazali very very strong no recho chisoboka na yeka tonda mutajja uh, kuva muguru aje atukolere ebyo bye yatuwa amanyi no buyinza okukola so tute kokola feche tusani do kola then katonda yajja kola na yecha cha cha sani de era cha kola simany comments zoba opinions zoku chi uh, stood about the struggle in courts in mm. 2020 2021 uh, that is the campaign year plus the elections, respectively. Abantuba in a hope. In, uh, of course, a lot of politicians. I can say overwhelmingly, but now you got in 2021 like never before. Uh, yes, check. And even I had, even in 1980, I think people overwhelmingly, 1996, yes. So those election years, uh, yes, 19, 2021, people overwhelmingly voted different people. However, what we see now in the August House, it's a different story. Very mm. ashamed, actually. I can't fail to say it is a disgrace that people can take time to discuss essential of a minister. Yet we have uh, a crumbling economy. We have a crumbling health sector. Every sector is crumbling due to COVID and even before. We have uh, a crumbling education system, but people uh, sit and dedicate over one hour discussing uh, useless things, I'm sorry to say. Let's go to the local government. I've been in councils, local councils, people discussing right from the Kamba Capital City Authority. Mm. You sit and listen to what they are discussing. It's a shame. You go to the district uh, uh, LC5 councils and you're like, oh my God, we have a huge problem. Don't you think that seriously people have reached that point? They don't know where to go to. They don't know the right person to go to. Now everyone promises them this, and at the end of the day, five years is the worst. And Kati Moses, yeah. na gambi, tetuso wa kwa affording to give up. Yes. E Your option, teri you. Kubanga, that is giving up, uh, giving up on life, giving mm. up on the future. Yes. E chikulu unti, avana Uganda, tulina okuyiga, buli mbela je tuyitamu yona, yandi bade tuyigiriza to do better. Yes. Then we keep on repeating the same, 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 same mistakes. Obviously, Muranga Avantu, priorities is Avantu, eh? Zira Gachi Chichevari. Katibubu will be a priority yomun, Tungasi, a Gasa Avantu, eh? Then I tell no mudam, Zijukira, Walu, or Mami, we make Indian, those are a Tayarim or Makindi, Rubaga. Yes. E ya gama mbumu mpe ngeende ye. Yes. Yeah. E? Eh? Ida neba muwa. Kakati buwe muwa nga fe awa na Uganda. Tusaze wo okubanti tetuwe ya gala. Tetuwa gala nsi ya fe. Hmm? Atenga tulabia nti nsi endala. Zise wode okola echama nyenyo. Tuwa ngabu ochima nye. Elabuli muntuye na achogira. Nti tuwa liku semlevo. Ne South Korea, yes, and ne Singapore, yes, at the time of independence, as in, especially Singapore, Tezina resources, yes, Okujaka Avant, yes, ne the resource in Nene, Fejetula King Aboje Bafun, ye leadership. Mm. Okay, Ali uh, Kuan Yu, Teali Democrat, as yes. a Democrat, mm. but he cared about his country, yes, he loved his country, he did things in a way to benefit his country. Katife, wetu wanga tulina aba kulembeze, aba tafayo kugwanga, aba gala bo, obaba rozanti skyscrapers zeba zimbia, atenga bazi zimbia mu Uganda, zina avela zitia. Kwe gamba, aba taina vision for the country at all. Gaba ina visions ezawe, nga abantu. Kuichi are not visions, kubanga vision bobo jirina, Eteko kubanti eri in a wider perspective. So, bobanga abu bebali be, be, wo. Neche che argumenti yange eri inti. They are not the majority. We have allowed them to thrive. Kubanga, good people are doing nothing. I will take you to the point of uh, still on the values. In 2020, 2021, mm -hmm. 
I uh, followed almost each and every campaign trail of the presidential and uh, some members of parliament who are vying for member of parliament. Mm. Uh, I don't know what you're going to do, but ANT is preaching values and morals. Mm. And I can authoritatively say, uh, I think ANT didn't even scoop any five positions countrywide, mm. local government, member of parliament, and uh, the presidency, of course. Yeah, I don't know, is it uh, something H2Kuri them because of what you're preaching and morals? We just take someone who is going to come with excitement, a letter, anything to do on the campaign, even if they are sensible, they are senseless. It's the two following. It is uh, a practical example. A intimo campaign is more preaching on your morals, values, leadership first, a, lead, a, a people centered leadership. And people didn't listen to you. It seems they didn't adhere to the voice. Echintu abantu wa fiba kuli demu chintu echo. Andi chenvanga ba Moses. Karate abantu deni bandi ba de teba teba kaba. Yes. Teba sande kaba bwavu. Teba sande okaba gundi corruption. Yes. Teba sande kukaba torture. Teba sande kukubanga bwebanga ba rejecting the values. Atenga values are the ones which are going to give them what they want and yeah. what they need. Eh? Then in Abo, they have responsibility. Okay. So, na ye, nzendoza nti, embera etadaba antu mugundi, mu situation, eya desperation. Nebaroza, nebera vila noku, nti, fe abari gundi, Nzijukiranti, ida mini wea jamu power, ama ntu wazina. Especially wano mbuganda, wazini la dala, eh? Ngatuma nyinti chi, wajia kubela wo change. Kubanga wana wajanga, walina agenda, eh, 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 nunji, ilanga vivoge la virunji. Obote second time, ndo za wantibaja guzanyo, na yenze na hindo za niti at least ya funa lessons, niti alinache ya higa. Elana lini expecting niti maybe. Kumanga nze mi I expect niti nebo hita mumbere fana niti. I only suppose uji giramu in order to do better. Te ya chikola, enare mweja, haba niti basa nyuka nyo nyo nyo. Na ye kati, ula bechigenda masu. So, ebe vyo na, bitu yigiri zaachi. Echite geza niti wana Uganda, echi soka, tute kwa okutandika, okuyiga from the mistakes of the past. Bwe, ate echi lala, tulina okumanya, niti when you saw beans, oja kuripinga beans, eh, toja kufuna maize. If you if you have if you 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 saw a good lemon, toja kujamu orange. It will have to be lemon. So every fenanga bana Uganda, especially you people in the media, you need to sensitize the people. But again, ti chichi. Na buba ina responsibility, tulina responsibility, tetu soba la kubela mula mentations all the time, na kukaba maziga, as if we cannot do anything about it. Yes, we can. We all can. Na yetu tutegerenti actions is a fair, ne decisions is a fair, ze tukola. Zija ku, there are consequences for them. Okay, this is going to have the people voted into power. They are the real representation of the society we have today. It is a representation of the culture. Okay. Uh, it is not necessarily the representation of the people. The biggest challenge about Jebalina is your sense of hopelessness. Abamu balo wazanti, there one vote doesn't make a difference, which is not true. Fena, vote ya ange, e yiyo, 
can make a lot of difference. Nti gwe choso bolo kuko chokola techi making a difference. So that apathy, that sense kwe gamba, eyo kubanti, uh, you know, whatever I do doesn't make a difference anyway, so why should I do it? Echo eh? tulina okuche wala. Kubanga chechide what was saying, as I, I think I mentioned earlier, that evil triumphs because good people do nothing. So if we want good, we must work for it. It will not just happen. Era, but wanga tuwa agala abantu abalina values, tutekwa okulonda abantu abalina values. Techija ku happeninga differently. Ate nga mwenaga nti haba na Uganda banji haba ina values. They are really everywhere. Na ye the problem nti they avoid politics and yet politics is at the core of everything. Of the air we breathe, of the food we eat, of the jobs, of the you know schools and 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 healthcare of everything, so we must therefore be interested in politics. Not only interested, but we must participate. I've interacted never na Uganda but Taliban. Abam baloza because the no muntu muntu funti you've traversed. I think the globe. You've been an ambassador in different countries for. Uh, the Great Pal. There are those who believe in TH. If we go into federal system, and we may not be having these problems because many there are states of Amawanga Goba Dem as an ambassador. There are federal federal states, there are federal governments. It's taking us, it has taken us uh, in the wrong way for many years. Chigwande does that copying a leaf from other countries as in a federal system of governance. Do you concur with those people? Nzendo was anti, it is not the system. Mm. It, is the, it is not the nature, it is the character okay. of the leadership. So, Osobolo Kubera Mo Federal, no better never leaders have a Osobolo kubera mugundi mu 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 unitare no vera ne 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 leaders ababi and there are examples everywhere. Eh? Country like Finland, mm -hmm. it is a republic, but it is extremely well governed. How would it? Mm -hmm. a, 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 a country like United States, of course, the United States is a federal because it is a huge country. Mm. You know. So it is a question of services near to the people. Eh? So you can have any over federal system, over unitary system, over monarchy, over chichi, and you still have either good or bad mm. gover go governance. So the foundation, therefore, is not in, in my view, is not in necessarily in the system that you have chosen. To me, it is in the, in the institutions that you have, in the systems that you have, in the voice of the people so that the people can choose, you know, whether they choose monetary or whether they choose federal, you know, it is still be their choice. But when they have chosen, at least there is a system that will ensure that people can continue to make choices. Because even in democracy, democracy can actually produce anything. Mm. It can produce a very good leader. It can also produce a very bad one. But when you have systems, when you have institutions, then people will learn that what they chose was not good and they ca you can have corrective measure peacefully. Okay, Avaloza, Bueva Tavaloza, Tiolokuanti, 
well, economically, we've uh, crumbled for so uh, for so much or for a long time, a long period of time. And we have states in Uganda which made up Uganda, Ankole, Bunyoro, Busoga, Uganda, all the regions. If they get, or if they achieve that goal, what they feel it's uh, a goal for them, uh, federal system, Bunyoro wouldn't be suffering when they are having their oil. Busoga wouldn't be suffering when they have their uh, minerals and whatever. Let all states, states on Nazirenga, independent, this of all Zirina, Amanio, Soroza, Okesoroza, Misoro, Okeko, Rakubizu, Yavio, unless, unlike in Ngawe Tuliwano, where by the Njaku, Chokura, we are called into Bunyol right now, Amafuta, mm. they are skeptical, they are still skeptical about Afuna and Moba Tabafuni. We've had, we've covered the stories in Gavana Mauli, where people of Bunyoro, Baba Goba Kutaka, and they are, they were displaced. They have not been compensated, being and they are living in absolute poverty. Same applies to Soga region, whereby they are sugar cane growers. And fact be told, the price of sugar cane right there, it's, uh, it's laughable. But the price of sugar keeps on in, like increasing. Don't you think those are in a VAONT in terms of the economy would be far away in terms of that every state? There are those who have that belief. Smanyi, uh, what your comments would be to restate a handling their own issues, yeah? I think we would be far away. There are those are in Endoze. Nzendoza anti Endoza, it is either based on ignorance or it is based on people. Our rose auntie, it is better to be a big fish in a small pond uh, than be a small fish uh, 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 in, in a bigger pond. Uh, Kubanga, if you are talking about economics, the bigger, the better. Uh, United States is a superpower because, partly because it's also big. Yes. Yes, China, it is a, almost it is a superpower because it's a, a, an economic superpower because it's big. It has a market. Uh, you can see the European Union, they were all uh, economic powers, but they chose to come together. Okugatamani, Basoborokorachi. Or competing because we are in a global village now, you cannot escape that one. So, therefore, in terms of economics, the bigger the better, but that better, that bigger must be qualitative. Kubanga Tura BNC, Ngate Ziri, they are even small, Nenga Ziri, you know, very strong economically. Singapore is one of them. Yes. Singapore is just like a small, uh, small island. Yes. But it is a super, a super power in terms of economics. Mm. So therefore, it all goes back to the quality, the character of leadership. And that leadership can be, you know, it's, it is a, a quality of its own. Tewali gambanti oba tribe no oba religion no you know ndieri endowed with that quality no we have people from different tribes in this nation who have the same character so I always sent in those that when we the tribes in Bidi eh eyaba bi ne eyaba lunji eyaba galiza na abata ya galiza eyaba bi na bali honest. You know, because never banga muganda o, nenga mubi. Toge na mu asentezo, mbazi tereke, ngato mani ntichi. Mubi. Mubi. So I think a yo endo waza to take oji popularizinga. Kubanga bo ababi, eh? Oba bali myopic. Baga na nyo oku 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 oku. Okuleta gundi nti kubanga 
we go to, to the same, we have the same religion, uh, the same tribe, and no Rachel, to and by day, to Kolachi, to Vera Fena. Hey, hey, yes, we can still be together. But the, for me, when I'm choosing friends, it is quality. Okay. It is character. Or you go in your middle are sharing the same values. Because you can't work together unless you are of the same mindset. Yes, Ambassador, when you gala oku bedanga, I agree with these people. Wagambanti, I think federal could can be part of the solutions to our problems. Number one. To the countries covered ambassador, why are you going in different countries? To the Nordic countries, US, uh, Ethiopia, uh, many. These, like most of them, zero the federal system. And I believe they are grounded. Their economies are grounded. I believe they are growing and they are developing. Like, don't you feel we need to copy a leaf from those countries, Ngajiwali? Because I think you copied a lot of things from them. Yeah, I have a great admiration for the Nordic countries. Yes. Nordic countries are not federal. <laughs> they mm. are unitary. Yeah. Uh, but they, they, are, they are monarchs, some of them. Mm. Uh, Sweden, Norway, yes. Denmark, they are monarchs, mm. uh, constitutional monarchs. Yes. Uh, Finland is a republic. Mm. So all of them are doing well because they are grounded on social justice on social justice and whether it is their economy uh, whether it is uh, their politics respect for human rights good governance so again it is about the character of leadership that has made them who they are mm. Obviously, the United States is a, a huge country mm. with many states. Uh, states that amalgamated over time. You know, Zajiranga, they, they, they started small Nezegata. Yes. They are a fed, federal. Some of them are really, really big countries like California, like Texas. Mm. Those are very, very big. But they also small, have small states, Nga, New Hampshire, very tiny. Nenga, what is the system a making all of them to be equal before the law? Yes. To also have, uh, be equal in terms of, 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 of governance and of also the economics. Mm. So, Nze, nze, nze those anti, the emphasis really must be on leadership, on institutions, on systems, on the culture of politics. When you have that, you can determine whether you want to be unitary, whether you want to be a federal, whether you, you know, but as I said earlier, the bigger, the better. You can see that even all those other countries, the Nordic countries, even a country like Sweden, which I never, when I was there, I never thought it could join the EU. They joined. Finland joined. Mm. Why? Because the, it is, you know, it is the, the, the survival of the fittest in the global economy. And uh, markets, Markets are very, very important. And you cannot be competitive if you are a tiny ent entity. You can't. So even those, especially those uh, Ugandans who are in the diaspora, especially who are in the countries, big countries, small countries, I think we need to learn lessons. And we need also to be active. It is very interesting that now you have members of the U.S. House of Representatives from Somalia. Yes. Which means that there is a unity of the Somalis in those places because you can't win first and foremost 
they also want to be to have a voice that is what it is all about mm. yes and they have been able to make it ugandans in the us we are many you know they are many they can also have representation and be where they are they can also be uh, you know they can make their presence matter okay so uh, engage your servants in different capacities. Moon says, as Angel, you've seen a lot. Mm. Uh, yes, these things we can, yes, in terms of this and this leadership, we can, I think, do this and go ahead. Uh, from the, the, the Nordic countries, what I learned was social justice. Mm. Uh, because in the Nordic countries, at least the time I was there, I uh, learned, I saw that there is a freedom mm. to rise economically uh, to any, you know, to any point. But there is also the bottom line under which no human being no Swede should be allowed to drop. Not only Swede, even anybody who lives in Sweden at that time. Yes. So that contributes to the quality of the society. Mm. So, and I think it is very, very good that there is no limit if you are hardworking, if you are earning your riches, uh, you know, uh, legally and uh, fairly and whatever. You, there shouldn't be any limit to mm. you. But government must make sure that every human being has the most basics. That is very, very important. So the quality of society, in my view, is not measured on how many millionaires and billionaires you have, you know, but on how you are taking care of those have notes. How about in the U.S.? Any lessons you learned from the U.S.? Yeah, the, the U.S., uh, the le lessons that I learned from the U.S. is hard work. Mm. Hard work pays. Hard work pays, discipline pays. Yes, so uh, the people in Americans are very hardworking. Uh, but they are also generous. I also found out that Americans are really generous. Mm. So uh, those uh, values are very, very important. Because the more you give, the more you get. Mm. But also, you know, uh, you can be as brilliant as you want, but if you are not disciplined, if you don't work hard, mm. you know, the brilliance will come to nothing. Mm. Yeah. How about the people all uh, the Ethiopia? Because you were, an, you were once an ambassador of uh, Uganda uh, to the uh, Ethiopia. Yeah, uh, Ethiopia. When I was there, mm. uh, it was uh, really economically it was rising. I wouldn't say that it was democratic. Uh, it was not. It was work in progress. Um, I particularly uh, liked the beginning, even up to now, I still admire mm. the current uh, Prime Minister of Ethiopia, uh, the Prime Minister um, Ahmed. Ahmed. Yeah. I liked the, um, the, his policies mm. of reconciliation, mm. of reaching out both internally and externally. Uh, I believe that he, the, the peace award that he received was well deserved, but apparently he didn't get a, a, a chance. He wasn't given a chance by some of those who believed that it was their, you know, right mm. to rule, you know. And uh, that is the challenge that he still has. Mm. Uh, but uh, I do pray and hope 
that definitely Ethiopia will overcome. Ethiopia is uh, the seat of the African Union. Yes. So it is not a question of Ethiopia as Ethiopia, but it is also about the African Union and Africa as a whole. And for me, I believe that, you know, Africa is the, in my view, the richest yes, continent. Yes, yes, of course. Mm. Uh, endowed by God. Mm. But uh, we are the poorest mm. because of leadership. Okay. Because of leadership. Mm. And so uh, it is very, very important that we start having some role models, African role models. Okay. We have countries, of course, like, uh, like uh, um, in, in, in Southern Africa, we have uh, Botswana. Mm. Uh, that is a country that has demonstrated that they, they can use their resources for the good of all the Botswana, uh, the Botswana people. And so, but we need more. We really need more. We need more countries in Africa coming up. Because in West Africa, there was a time Af West Africa was really giving us a lot of hope. But now, you know, countries are in Burkina Faso, they are back to military rule and, you know, so uh, we, we need to break the curse on Africa, <laughs> mm. uh, who bewitched Africa indeed. How can we be having so, so much and yet be the, the least of the least? Mm. Mm -hmm. Africa's problem, because you're still questioning uh, we have all the resources, we have everything, but we are the poorest. Yes. Does it still go back to the question of leadership in yes, Africa? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, Maxwell, John Maxwell said, everything rises or falls with leadership. Mm. And so um, Africa has been so unfortunate that we have had bad leaders. Mm. who have kept us in poverty when we are rich, who have looted the, the resources of, of their countries, who have uh, not uh, provided leadership mm. so that people can, can fulfill their dreams, their, their plans and, and purposes for which God created them. Okay. Yeah. Um, as we wind up, so mm, you don't feel that federal system, as others feel, can be the solutions to, or can be a solution to our problems. I remember about America, UK, Canada, Belgium, and other states, other countries. They believe, yes, what they have seen in those countries, if we copy a leaf, could be our solution. So you don't concur with them. No, if you look at, uh, say, Uganda, Uganda is, uh, is the size of Oregon in the United States. Oregon is not the biggest state. Yes. It is a small state, actually, in the U.S. So it is, in, uh, you know, it is foolhardy to, to compare Uganda in terms of uh, federalism and the and, and United States. So, uh, but nevertheless, uh, again, I don't believe that it is a question of how organized, how in which form you are organized. Mm. It is the quality of leadership. You can still be in federal, and we have seen it. Some of the land grabbers are from our own tribes, you know, and they are looting. Or, or grabbing from their own kinsmen. <laughs> so it is not a question, therefore, of, uh, uh, you know, of, of uh, whether it is federal or unitary. And they are global examples of, uh, of successful, unitary, successful uh, federal. Because even when you are in federal, you are still have, to, you are going to still have to to unite with others in order to yes, survive in yes. the global economy.
Mm. Yeah. Okay, but the mm. beginning and the end, everything rises and falls on leadership. Mm. Our foundation, how do we come to a conclusion of rebuilding? How do we rebuild the systems, the foundation? Like you said in the, from the beginning that yes, we went wrong and seems we need to rebuild. How do we go about that? I think it all starts with that realization. Mm. If we realize that our problem lies with the foundation of this nation, then if, we, if, that is, uh, if, if we realize that, then we are going to, to work towards that. Right now, we need to sensitize ourselves Mm. to educate ourselves, to realize that it is important okay. for us to have a foundation, even a building. Mm. If you have a, a, a building based you know, on a, a faulty foundation, it's a question of time. It will crumble. But if you have a good foundation, then you can build on that foundation and whatever you build will last, will be sustainable. Mm. So, uh, but that is something that we must realize as a people and also learn from other countries. Okay. You know, uh, I think we have now a culture or we have had, you know, leadership which rotates around individuals. For us in Alliance for National Transformation, we don't build on individuals. Mm. We build on, a, we, we want to build a foundation based on institutions and systems. And we want to build a culture. Because you see, individuals cannot be dependable. Mm. Even if they are good, by the way, what if they died? Yes then everything crumbles. So, uh, and it, is, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be around individuals. It is supposed to be around institutions and systems. Countries like Italy, sometimes they would have no leader for, for months. Mm. And they would still be, you know, functioning. Bring it here to Uganda. Even a day wouldn't you know, mm. we wouldn't last. So therefore, the things that surpasses or that transcends individuals is the systems, it is institutions, it's a culture mm. whereby each generation comes and adds on. So you want to mean without General Mugisha Muntu, ANT can triumph? Oh, absolutely. By the way, for those of you who, who still talk about General Muntu, he's not the, the, the leader of Alliance for National Transformation. It is Ali Salaso who is the national coordinator of, of Alliance for National Transformation. But because Ugandans have this culture, and General Muntu continues to educate. I see him sometimes on TV saying, no, I'm not the, I'm not the, the, the national leader of, of the Alliance for National Transformation. But still people insist because they are, they are stuck in that culture of individualism. Mm. Yes. Let me take you to... The recent happenings, what's happening in Uganda, apparently, uh, 2022, it's been a year of uh, abductions, abductions and more abductions, human rights violations, all sorts of atrocities inflicted on Ugandans. Mm -hmm. I want to pick your views of recent, uh, that was uh, this week actually, we, social media has been a wash of uh, a video circulating of a man, a one uh, uh, NUP follower or subscriber who protested in the court martial that the, he has been incarcerated for two years without trial. 
I don't know what do these mean to you and what do they mean to our democracy in case we have one. It is very sad and it demonstrates how we have degenerated in terms of human rights respect. First and foremost, if you are a civilian, what business do you have in a military court? If you are not military, I think you, are, you, you, you shouldn't be in a military court. Then we have civil courts, and that is where everybody who is non-military belongs. So, uh, so that was one. Two, uh, I saw it and the person was actually protesting peacefully. Mm. So if you cannot tr uh, protest peacefully, then wh what, wh uh, how, how are you going to, to be able to get justice? And it was in a court, whether a tribunal, but it is, they call it a court. A court is a temple of justice. You are supposed to be getting justice, not being uh, rounded up and being victimized even further. I didn't see anything that warranted him to be ruffled as he was. He was supposed to be listened to and maybe his, uh, you know, his, uh, uh, what he was protesting or what he was saying should have been taken into consideration. Because why should, if, if we, he committed uh, crimes, then he, sh he should be prosecuted, not just kept in, in jail. That is a violation of human rights itself. On, on, on a number of occasions, in 2021 and 2022, President Seven came out in a number of addresses to say that, yes, Uganda is doing well, and the image, and other countries actually, they are coming to copy a leaf from us in regards to human rights. <laughs> I don't know whether he needs more lenses. He's not a man I know who uses glasses or what. I don't know what happened to him because he <laughs> says the contrary to what you always say, because I know he has a, a human rights defender, a person who has, uh, of course, been um, to that. You've been defending rights for all you, the years you've been serving. Do we think President Seven needs some new glasses to perceive things <laughs> the way you perceive them? <laughs> yeah, um, all of us will be seen by our fruits. Yes. Not by our words. Mm. Because we all are capable of saying good words. But unless those good words are grounded in good actions, yes. then they, they just remain words. Somebody said, talk is cheap. Mm. You can say whatever you want to say, but unless the actions are also tarry, Mm. With, the, with your words, then, you know, it is just words. Mm. Previously, actually that was last year, he said he will be remembered for saving Uganda from a failed state. He'll be remembered for the good governance. He'll be remembered for the development and growth. Do you concur with him? <laughs> The word, it is on the wall. Everybody can see and make judgment. Mm. And it is not rocket science. Mm. So, um, Uganda is regressing clearly mm. in every aspect. In human rights, in governance, in corruption. Yes. You know, so, uh, and it is, everything is, you know, with the social media, with the technology, everybody is seeing so you know when people are being tortured they are on tv they are everywhere mm. the whole world is watching so i believe that he will be judged according to what people have seen themselves mm. not what he has said do you con do you concur with some people who say that uganda is a failed state is a failed state mm. 
Mm. I don't think we have reached to that level of being a failed state, but uh, we are declining. Okay. Mm. Your final remarks, how do we go out of this situation? Because you don't need to go to a law school to understand that indeed the injustices uh, shaping the discourse, uh, uh, they have marred our image, they have blurred our image, the international relations, a lot of things. You don't need to go to a political uh, school or a university to be taught political science that seriously politics has decayed or ruined our country. All the atrocities, all the, bad, all the evils. How do we go out of this? How do we shift from this? evil? Uh, first of all, I want to really um, thank Ugandans for being resilient. Okay. We are resilient people. We have survived before. We are surviving mm. and we shall overcome. Okay. Yeah. So I want to, uh, to instill hope mm. in Ugandans. Uh, the hope we have is in God. It is in human beings. It is not in human beings. Our hope to be able to live, uh, you know, uh, is in God. And uh, um, I believe that we shall survive okay. uh, through hard work, mm. through taking corrective measures, mm through um, uniting around uh, values, mm. values because we all want justice, that is a value, we want uh, respect for human rights, we want, you know, some people have said that they don't eat values. Yes, values yes. are the ground on which, you know, if you have a fertile land, mm. then you can plant and you'll get the fruits. So values are, are the same. If you don't have values, you have nothing. Mm. You have no foundation. You have, uh, you know, whatever you try, mm. will not be able to succeed, especially sustainably. And therefore, um, we have opportunity. I still believe, I have faith in Ugandans. In fact, out there, I used to hear that Ugandans are the best people. Mm. They are compassionate, they are, you know, friendly, they are what? Yes. And I was like, how come we are friendly? Other people are not friendly to ourselves. Mm. So the seed of greatness, the seed of good is in us. It is up to us, therefore, to rise up mm. and make sure that that seed is sown in fertile ground uh, of values, mm. of respect, of, of respect for of dignity, of hard work, uh, of uh, anti-corruption. Mm. And then, you know, we shall overcome. Overcome we shall. Okay. Mm. Speaking of overcoming, do you see Ugandans one time rising rising up to defend this country. Do you see that? I think we are already rising up. Mm. Even this interview itself is rising <laughs> up. So I don't know exactly what you mean by rising up, but we are rising up. We've had politicians say what happened to Egypt, what happened to Sudan. I don't know uh, whether they mean that kind of rise up because I've had a politician who say, who say one time said that, yeah, Ugandans would rise up and defend their rights and defend their country and the way we saw it in Sudan and other countries, the Arab Spring, sort of. Uh, personally, I would like to have a conscious, deliberate rising up, mm. not like a, a wave okay. as we saw in the Arab Spring, mm. because you know uh, you know what happened to Egypt and we know what is happening to Egypt. You know what happened to Tunisia. Yes. So, you know, those waves, if we depend on those waves, those waves are not sustainable. And in most cases, actually, they don't bring 
uh, you know, good fruits, mm. sustainable fruits. Yeah. So therefore, my uh, urge uh, uh, to Ugandans is that we must be deliberate. We must be, uh, you know, we must uh, be conscious. Mm. We must educate ourselves. So whatever we do, it must be deliberate and based on our conscience. Uh, not just waiting for, for things to just move because things, the wind can come and move you in any direction mm. and you have no control. So we must be in control of our own destiny. Mm. And if we do, as I said, that I think we should have two, 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 two tribes in this nation, a tribe of thieves, and those who are dishonest, those who are uh, violators of human rights, those who are self-seekers, and a tribe of people of integrity, people who see country, who put country before self, people who see, who have a vision for the country, not for self. I think if we do that, mm. then we shall be able to overcome sooner than later because okay. i believe that that tribe of the people of integrity is actually bigger it just needs to wake up it's been nice speaking to you i hope Thank you. uh uh ant instills values one time uh that's what we yearn for that's what we long to have in this country I pray ANT becomes a bridge of morals and values, uh, unlike the national resistance movement that came promising heaven on earth that this is not a fundamental change, uh, a mere change of guards, but it's a fundamental change. But apparently everyone who was there uh, thinks otherwise. I pray one time the ANT, through the bulb, the light shall, uh, of course, light all the way for generations and generations. So God loved Uganda for God and my country. Uganda Yancha.